very quickly, we talk about paradigms being challenged. Uh, if you guys feel comfortable, put it in the chat, uh, share, share your thoughts around. Do you guys believe that job security exists in the world that we live in now? Yes, no. As you might imagine, I think you guys already know what my perspective is going to be, right? Um, I think the phrase job security is an oxymoron. Um, I want to share a couple of these very startling stats that we have seen over the last couple of decades, certainly over the last uh, couple of years and since the pandemic began. Uh, people who are in that age range, they are waiting far longer and they're competing with the same job for the same job with much younger groups. And in most cases, they're not the ones being selected for those positions, number one. You find, number two, many more people applying for that same position than used to before. One job, many, many, many potential applicants. But very importantly for the work that I do, this is what gets me excited, excited may be the wrong word, very telling perhaps is this notion of peak incomes. Um, do any of you, have any of you heard the phrase peak incomes? What do you think that might mean? What we've seen are peak incomes declining for both men and women. So if you guys picture back to when we were in, I guess, college, do you guys remember the bell curve we would study? Think of the fattest, highest portion in the middle of the bell curve. There's a bell curve like that for each one of us on the call today. And the bell curve essentially signifies the money you're going to make over the course of your career. And when you hit the middle of that curve, the peak of that curve, this is the age at which you are going to make the most money you ever will, whether you're a man or a woman. What we have seen is that age decline. So men are hitting that, age, that peak income at age 48. It used to be 52 before. Women are hitting that age 39. It used to be 42 before. In real terms, what does that mean for you, me, and everyone else on the call? It means regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, you are going to make, you're going to hit that peak income sooner and you will make less money for the remainder of your career. Not the right direction we want to be going in, right? After all the years of going to school and getting certifications and trainings and all that, now we are spending many more years of our careers making less money. So job security, right? Let's mull on that for a moment. Contrast this notion of job security with the second notion that we've all, I think, grown up with where people, when they hear someone starting a business, they say, oh my gosh, are you mad? Why would you do that? Go back and get a job. It's super risky. I don't know about you. I certainly heard that. In fact, my mother, who probably loves me more than anyone else, she was the first to say that. When I said, Ma, I've made my decision. I'm never going back to corporate again. And at the time, you saw the picture on that first slide. Our daughter, she's now eight, going on to 18, but that's another story. Um, she was seven months at the time, guys. My husband was traveling all the time. He's an entrepreneur. I was the one who brought in the steady income. I had the job, right? So when I made that decision, my dear mother, she freaked out. So I think it's a very normal thing. Normal may not be the right word. It's a reaction that we get a lot of times from well-meaning family members and friends. So contrast job security with the risk of business ownership. But here's the reality. When you start to peel back the layers, here's what happens. Owning a business is scary. Absolutely. I'll give you that. But here's the thing. No one can take your business away from you. You can never be laid off. You can never be downsized. Your business is your business. You grow your business at your pace, guys. If you want to get super aggressive, you can do that. If you want to take it a little bit slow, you can do that too. And the longer you own your business, the safer it becomes to own it. Why? Because the longer you own it, the more comfortable you feel doing whatever it is that the business requires. You understand what the business requires. 
This is a very different scenario from when you're an employee, when you're a cog in the wheel of a very large corporation, an experience that many of us have had. <laughs>